Oh my god, this is the most painful thing I've ever done in my life. Ah, oh, dude, you're gonna love it tomorrow, though. Yeah, that's what she was telling me. That's, he's like, keep telling me that. Keep telling me that, and let me know. Come back. You don't get this part. <laughs> Are you recording? Yes. Don't get all in my face like that. My skin's breaking out right now. Welcome back to another video. It's because he's on TRT. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. He's trolling. But anyway, this is Kevin right now. Um, I'm trying to get him to do his cardio workout on me. I just finished chest, but... I have to poopy. He's talking about his little stomach right now. His little <laughs> stomach. But yeah, it's Monday. But I did a cardio workout. 20, 25 minutes. Just, just 20, 25 minutes. Just? Just. Just. Yeah. That's it. It's a little, it's a little cardio. Get a little, it's little, but little heart it's also health. like... Little hard help. Doing it for 25 minutes straight, so like. But yeah, anyways, it's 10:30 right now. I'm gonna finish this, and then probably film some TikToks. Then I'm getting a full body massage. I need it since I've been to LA. I'm saying right now, he sees me in here every single. Day. He tries to get me to take rest days and stuff. Dude, he's, <laughs> you're training. He's training hard. No, really yeah, hard. but he, and he, he has, but he understands why I'm doing it. I'm yeah, working. I understand. Yeah. But he tells me, but he's like, yo, just take a rest day, take a rest yeah. day. I'm like, yo, I'll take a rest day if you take me to the nice canyons with the, the views yeah. and stuff. So I have something to do during that rest day. True, true. You gotta, you gotta find some hobbies to join. That's what I'm saying. Because if not, you're just bored. But anyways, I'm um, cardio now, full body massage. Oh my, I'm going with um, Tyler, Tristan's brother. It's gonna feel amazing. It's like 10 minutes from here. See, they said it hurts. They said it hurts a lot, but in like a good way. I want her to fuck me up. I want her to literally, I want to feel like a new person afterwards. But yeah, before that, cardio. Has to get done. Let's do it. You see what's happening over here? Raw gear, new drop, January 20th. Be ready, because it's actually like, oh, honestly, legit. It's going to be crazy. Yeah, try it on, try it on, this, try it on. Oh, yeah. Let me show you the fit I wore today. All right, so this is one of the new sweaters dropping, the hoodies. So this is the fit I wore today. Since I've been doing my cardio, I've been like, yo, I miss football, right? I miss football. I miss that, that feeling of walking to school with the varsity jacket, right? So I'm like, hold on, let me come today. Let me come today with the new Raw Gear varsity jacket. They literally put me on the back of the jacket. They, they molded this out, <laughs> they molded it after me. Oh, let me show you how this looks. Hold up, hold up. You guys read another deal. Code Isaiah, 10%, January 20th. You're telling me I don't look like I just came out. Like I'm about to go play under the lights Friday night, Saturday. It's a vibe. Look at the, the detail. The detail. Steve, you tell me I don't look like I'm about to go play football? Like, yeah, it's, this shit goes hard, right? January 20th, be ready. I'm saying, guys, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna sell out fast too, so hop on it. Anyways, now it's time for cardio. Let's go. Last run, best run. Circus style. You know how it is. Chris, put it right there.
I'm dead. I'm dead. Cardio, heart health, get lean, fuel up. Oh shit. Damn. You feel that? You look good? Yeah. I kind of improvised then too. I just saw the bench, I was like, fuck, it's open. And yes, I'm that guy that takes up equipment all over the gym. Oh, hold on, wait. I got one more side. We're gonna do this side. This is it. Everyone here is really friendly. And you gotta not be an asshole. But yeah, cardio's done. I think about. Damn. It was like 25. It was like 25 minutes. Yeah, felt good. Back we go. I mean, just yeah, I'm gonna lose them. Damn, sorry. Cheers, we go. Cardio, massage time. Let's go. On our way with Tyler, my guy in the back. Um, he found a super nice spot for us to go to this full body massage. And he's making me a little nervous because he's saying it's very painful. And he does this kind of often. It's my first time ever. So that's where I'm where going straight. Yeah, straight. Yeah, yeah, so we're like five minutes away from there. So I'm going to vlog it. And she, he says that th this lady does like a really good, like full, deep tissue, like. She gets everything. So I'm hyped because I've never in my life gotten any type of massage, recovery, anything. So yeah, this right is up here. right yeah. into this yeah. parking lot? Yeah. All right, so this is day one of me taking my recovery series. And I think it's gonna be, I've seen videos of people doing it and like, I'm thinking they're like playing around how painful it is and they're like screaming like, ah, right? right so hopefully it's not me. But yeah, pulling up right now and I'll see you guys, I guess, inside the spot. And she's cool with this recording stuff too, which is awesome. So yeah, let's go. I don't know if I trust Tyler because he's telling me to make lefts and rights and we in, we're in some sketchy alley right now. I'm like, yo, wait, is he, is he trying to set us up right now? All the, anyways, how, are we far from it? No. Keep going up and go left at the end. Do you trust him, Chris? <laughs> yeah. I'm not the one staying. Yo, Chris has to leave to go pick up uh, yeah, Steve. Is he here? Oh, okay. I'm so stimmed out. I had pre-record this morning before my workout and this. But this one's not too strong though, and I only three quarters scooped the pre-workout, so I, I could have another one. But yeah, let's go inside. In this spot, there's actually a legit ass supplement store. Like these supplements look crazy. So I'm feeling tight, especially like my chest. Yeah, let's do this. It's yeah. not just. Are you cool if you're on camera, by the way? No, no, that's fine. Okay, awesome, yeah. Turns, yeah, no, I do everybody. It's um, yeah. it's fun being in it's you know being an athlete growing up. It just made sense to do more athletes. Yeah. Bodybuilding was where I started. Uh -huh. But athletes, as you know, kind of it just kind of melds into it everything. It made more sense for you. It made a lot more sense because I can, you know, I as a bodybuilder for me, you know, for me, I always figure out where I hurt, and mm -hmm. I figure if I hurt there, everybody else Everyone hurts there. It, yeah. So it's it's a common sense thing. Follow the chain. If uh -huh. it hurts there, and you know, you work your way down, then you go to school and they teach you. But yeah. you know. I throw all the rules out. I don't follow the rules because the rules I love that. They don't work. Yeah. They don't work for they don't work for people in the fitness industry. Yeah. They work for the average mom or somebody who yeah, wants to go to yeah, massage yeah. envy. But the rules, they don't work for Some people. Some people are who, so by the book that like it's well, like I, Yeah. And massage and a lot of massage therapists think that they can't go outside the boundaries. Mm -hmm. And and it's like that's where the healing begins. It doesn't begin with what they teach you in school. The healing begins is when you get outside your comfort zone uh -huh. and you start doing things differently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm excited. Yeah, I'm saying when we walked in, everyone that came in, she was like, "Wait, you damn, my hands up." When I came in, everyone was like, "Oh my God, you're about to have the best and worst time of your life." Because tomorrow I'll feel good. The pump's gonna be crazy, but today is apparently gonna be super painful. Today it's gonna be painful. Yeah. And you're going to feel probably drunk when yeah. it's over. Oh. You're gonna feel very lethargic today, but sleep. you're gonna sleep amazing. Amazing. Um, I've been your, struggling with sleep stuff. So your you, body's hopefully. gonna detox, so it's mm -hmm. gonna shut down tonight. It's gonna just go into a complete fix mode, almost yeah. like a reboot. Yeah. And tomorrow morning, you're gonna wake up with this newfound energy, and uh -huh. then, to, yeah, the pump will be good tomorrow, but if you really, really, really want to enjoy your back day, wait till day three. Day three is the best day to do it. The, tomorrow, you're still a little inflamed, and you're because you, you loosen up over 48 Eight hours uh -huh. so you're, today you'll feel loose but not as loose as you're gonna feel in 48 yeah, yeah. hours so uh -huh. if you get massage today and train back on Wednesday it's our legs it's a whole new yeah game. it's a whole well, new we're game. actually thinking about training legs tomorrow right you got legs tomorrow yeah yeah, Damn, then you so can we'll train see. back or what? Yeah, yeah. But I'm telling you, anytime, whatever you train after day three, bit back or legs, it's yeah. going to be an amazing time. Yeah, yeah. Amazing right. time. So let's do this. And what was your name again? I'm Gina. This is Gina. She's about to go to work on I me. Mean, I'm super excited. And what's the, the name of you? Have like the I, name of your story? It's Body Empath. Body Impact. Yeah, Empath. Yeah. Empath. Yep. Body Empath. Yeah, and yep. she does all these famous athletes, bodybuilding, everything. So in good hands. Let's do this. Yep. All right. 
making enough protein to rebuild the breakdown, it won't matter how many calories you're eating. Yeah, yeah, so I, don't even, you won't even say track then, just eat? I would, at this point, no, because this is what I, this is the same thing I tell my, my WNBA and my NBA players uh -huh. during this time when they're that as active as you're, as you're, as you are right now, mm -hmm. don't worry about the food. Yeah. Worry about the food when you have more downtime, but right now you, your body and your metabolisms are too high, and, and the more you run on the edge, the yeah. more risk you run. Well, that's how I was at. I played football at Rutgers for a little bit, like, for like a year and a half, and they, we were working out so much, like probably like six hours a day with the, the, the practice, the mm -hmm. lifting, and they just feed you calories. They don't do it. It's well, not that's like, because we have, and this is the same like thing I tell my, w calories, calories. Yeah, my WNBA girls in, in Russia, and I told her, I don't care, eat whatever. Yeah. I mean, she's on the court eight hours a day and practicing, it and it's like, you know what? I don't care. Yeah. She doesn't hold on to enough weight, but what yeah. I don't need is I don't need her tendons and I don't need her ligaments like under out, the so. stress yeah. or being depleted of nutrients because she's not eating. Yeah. Because that, at the end of the day, is going to cost her her career. Yeah, yeah, because they literally just feed you wings, quesadillas, burgers. Mac anything, and cheese, anything, anything, just yeah. chocolate milk, and I was still almost losing weight. I wasn't gaining any weight. You, you, but you, 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 t you plateau out. Yeah, uh, it's the same thing. I have, I have a kid at SMU here right now. He's heading for the draft, and mm -hmm. you know, amazing thing. But same thing. I just had to tell him too. Even when he he was at UCLA for four years, yeah. and then got a degree and left their pro ball program and went to SMU for two. Uh -huh. And even when he was here I, during the season, I told him, don't watch your macros, don't yeah. count, just play and eat. eat. It, you have plenty of time to work out the rest you're after so the much you just put exactly yeah. and it's too hard because you're so tired that you don't have really time to track it and you don't really need to be tracking yeah. it now at that point i wasn't tracking it i was just eating and that's what you shouldn't be doing yeah. right now the way you're working once you start to slow down and become back into a normal program uh -huh. then go back and start tracking yeah but in the meantime give your body what it needs because otherwise you're going to end up getting an injury and it's not going to be fun yeah. Then, then all those yes, fun right videos here. will come to a halt. Yeah, right here. The injury is the worst. I don't wish injury upon anyone. That's no. really the worst thing anything can happen. I don't, I don't people either. that what we do, like the fitness thing, it's like... Well, and I'm lucky. I can say none of my clients have ever been injured. Yeah? That's I get my clients. Work. They come to me injured, but nobody stays injured yeah. and nobody's been injured. That's good. So, yeah. let's... Uh, you guys, you guys heard it here. I might have to increase my calories. Yeah. Or not, not even increase, just don't count. <laughs> No, 99 calories for you is not an increase. No, it is not, right? <laughs> no, it's not an increase. <laughs> Maybe increase it by like 500, 600? Yeah, that's probably what I would do right now. With, with, with. downtime you have to learn to balance it because your body needs it mm -hmm. and at, you know there's plenty to do and plenty of time to have fun and enjoy the all what you're doing but at the end of the day if you don't stop and smell the roses and enjoy yeah, some yeah. of that too you're not going to no, get anything true. out of it and you want to be around for a long time don't yeah be one of these i'm in this guys, for a long run yeah yeah don't don't be one of these guys who, who, who's here for a minute and, and runs himself into the ground <sighs> It's like, it's amazing how many people have disappeared off social media in the last year. Yeah. People you thought would never be gone, you know? <laughs> people who were popular when social media started are no longer even on, even on the radar. Yeah. You know, so. Whew. Some of them have just fallen off. Some have had... They just burnt out, burned themselves out, right? Well, not only that, but, you know, they just... They don't have anything relevant to add if there's not anything going on. Yeah. You, know, you have to be a good person, too. It can't just be about the content. You have to be able to enjoy life yeah. and show people that, you know. Yeah, because people mean, like that, too. Like It's great to show people hard work, but if you don't show people that you can relax the real and side, play, yeah, too, yeah. yeah, then, you know, you're not teaching them anything else. You're not teaching them, by just teaching them to work and train, you're not teaching them how to live healthy yeah, yeah, lives yeah. because yeah. there has to be a balance. No, for sure. So, people, it, people, but, but, but the only way to show them is if you balance. Because people even like comment and tell me or like send me videos like, oh, like you should take a rest day, you know, recover. Like, you know. That's it. When you're out, see, that's the so thing. So thank you, you guys for remember. the support. I you appreciate that. You have to remember that. when you're putting out content, 
you have a responsibility to make sure that the people you're reaching are doing it in a healthy yeah. and productive way. And that means downtime means downtime. And that means you, but there, there's still things that you can show them how to have healthy, productive downtime. Yeah. Just because you have a downtime from the gym doesn't mean you can't go for a hike. No, yeah, does, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So you yeah. just, you, it, you know, you just need to remember that you have that responsibility too as, 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 a, as an influencer yeah. to put content out on how to relax and how to let their body heal too. I need to, yeah. And it'll you be good it for here. you. No, it will be good too. And people like that. They like like the real stuff because they they want to feel like they're like almost like a part of like. Well, and they want to feel like it's ex- like it's something they can reach. Oh yeah. Because most people don't have the time of day that it, that you have to put all these hours in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they want to know that there's a realer side to you. That you're more normal like them. That uh-huh. you're real. They don't want to just think that you're just some guy on Instagram. You know. Yeah. Unreachable and un- unattainable. <laughs> With the way you're training, uh-huh. there's no reason, there's absolutely no excuse for you to be under a gallon and a half a day. I definitely haven't even been touching okay, close to you, it. Okay, there's no, for the rate you're training and the multiple times a day and the way you're sweating, uh-huh. one, you should be drinking no less than a gallon and a half a day. Yeah. There should be salt in every gallon of water you're drinking. Yeah, yeah. I do take a lot of salt. I salt all my foods a lot. A lot. And you put it, I put it in my water. I need a little drink right now because I'm, oh, it's right now, it's so okay. hot. Breathe. Try to focus on the quad and what you feel are going on in the quad. You know, it's crazy you're doing all this with your elbow. Oh my god. Yeah, well, um, Dexter Jackson, if I did this, he'd be like, what? Hey, <laughs> like, gee, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> if if I didn't know and I looked up, I would think you had like these crazy tools, like oh yeah, <laughs> pressing all on me. I have a couple clients that call me elbow of steel, elbows of steel. Yep, trust me, that makes sense. Now you know why they call me the queen of pain. <laughs> oh my. Well, Tyler didn't tell you that part. No, he didn't. He didn't make it seem like it was gonna be this bad. <laughs> it's only this bad because you got this tight. If you weren't this tight, it wouldn't be yeah. this bad. And this is my first time ever doing anything like this. That's another thing. You've never had any kind of massage work. He's never even had this small, worthless stuff like cupping and. <laughs> Breathe. Breathe. you have no idea what's happening right now. <clears throat> oh. This is Chris, by the way. Hi, Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. This is the this is the queen of pain, apparently, <laughs> and she lives up to the name. Oh, I don't try to hide it. <laughs> oh, I'm cramping. You saw that? My quad was cramping. Oh, did you? Di- yeah, that's because you're dehydrated. Yeah. No, the, my quads cramp really bad here. I know. It's because you two don't get enough water. Yeah. Oh, my that's head. what I'm saying, and it's the reason you're cramping now is because now it's it's trying to feed, yeah. but you don't have enough fluid. Shout out to Tyler for taking the. Yeah. The video out. Chris wasn't here. Oh, and before you leave, there's a big table out front in front of the register. Check out the protein donuts that are there. They are the bomb. They yeah. are the best protein donuts you will know. I've had protein donuts that taste like sawdust. These things taste amazing. The triple chocolate, the red velvet, <laughs> the Captain Crunch. <Yeah. laughs> no, they're really good. They're 12 grams of protein per, they're six grams per donut. No sugar. Wait, why are the forearms so painful? Uh, because is that why I'm having t- elbow, elbow tightness? Issues? Yes, yeah. it's part of it. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Is oh. I'm fixing that problem right now. I'm just saying that constant clicking. There's no way that helps. Yeah, I'm always cracking my elbows. Don't hold your breath. Don't hold your breath. There we go. Wait. Well, yeah, I think the form might be the most painful thing. Oh, well, yeah, yours They're are really pretty tight. tight. Well, you do a lot of burpees and stuff, and that has a lot of effect on how your body, you know, what what gets activated in your body. The most painful thing I've ever done. But it feels good, like, every time she worked through the muscle map, oh, I'm delusional. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I told you you might feel a little drunk or kind of, some yeah. people say drunk, some people say high. Yeah. Depends on what they do, if people drink or whatever, but it, it's definitely an elevated, yeah. it's an elevated feeling. That was an experience that I've never felt before. Shout out to, she calls her, people call her the pain queen. Queen of pain. Queen of pain. 
telling you, no joke, I'm trying to talk to two cameras right now. <laughs> but do you have an Instagram that you have a thing for? Yep, yeah. it's body underscore empath. Yeah. And everything is on there and all my contact information. I'm telling you right now, if, you get, if you're in LA, Cali, well, she's all over the place. I'm sure you go to travel mm -hmm. states, countries, everything. You need to hit her up immediately. And now it's Tyler's turn, so <laughs> I can't wait to see how he goes. But thank you. Whore. You're welcome. Tyler, your turn. Let's go. Take a break. Oh, oh my God. God. Crack when you were. Yo, home. you saw that? I actually, I don't know if he got it. I think he got it somewhere on the film. I actually I think I almost broke the table. Of like, well, and they want to feel like it's ex day. like it's something. Can you hear? Like when it happened I, in my head, I was like, "Fuck!" I hope I didn't break it because she hit something. I think she was on my hamstrings. It caught me so off guard. I said, "Boom!" And I hear it crack. I was like, "Wait, did I just break the table?" And the funny thing is because right before that, five minutes before, um, Tyler was like, "Yo, if you break the table, you're gonna pay for it." And I was like, oh, yeah, "I'm not gonna break it." <laughs> but it was good though. But yeah, I'm saying right now. I don't know if I should be mad at Tyler or be thanking him for not only the most painful experience of my life, but I feel so good now. And apparently, like, I'm, my pump's gonna feel better tomorrow. I'm gonna feel good in the gym. Like, I'm gonna look dry or leaner. I'm gonna sleep good tonight. Oh, I feel amazing. Now, it's actually super late. It's not that late. It's only 3.30. But I haven't eaten because uh, we kind of got done in the gym late. We came straight here and haven't eaten. So, Tyler, are you down for some Chipotle? Shit, man. Yo. Literally had probably the worst Chipotle experience of my of my life. Not only wait, can you hold this? Yeah. Not only did it start off of course, because this Chipotle is known to be slow. They have one person working the entire line from start to finish, right? And then you guys know my order, right? They run out of veggies? For the I'm like, wait, how are you out of veggies? They're like, I'm like, well, alright, how long is it gonna take to cook? Oh, we won't have it for an hour and a half. What? Like I'm saying so that was already ruined, right? I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. I'll get more. So I'll get more tomatoes. I, so I got more pico de gallo. And then I forget. I, I get the I get the red hot hot sauce on it. I forgot to put it on until the end. So now it's on the lettuce part. Now it's not going to be soaking into the the, the the meats and the rice. So that that, that was low key my fault though, because I was pissed off about the veggies. So I forgot. And then I come to the front. You know I get the 50% off, right? So so that's why I come to Chipotle. And I come to Chipotle every single time. So I get me and uh, me and Tyler's. I'm like, oh yeah. She's like, okay, that's going to be 19, whatever. I'm like, no, I, I, get, uh, I show her the thing. I'm going to show you 50% off. She's like, oh, yeah, I did it for your bowl, not both. I'm like, wait, what do you mean not both? Why didn't you do it for both? And then she's like, oh, because we're, you know, we're not supposed to do it, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, yeah, but I come here every day and everyone does it for me. So are you new here? I was like, are you the manager? Are you new manager? She's like, no, he's the manager. I'm like, okay, well, he did it for me yesterday, so now what are we talking about? So then, and then it, I was pissed off. It, it was a bad experience. It, this is one of these moments where, like, a low key almost ruined my entire day, but I'm not gonna let it ruin my day because had a great two workouts this morning. Uh, got that massaging thing done. I'm actually just a little upset right now, but I'm not gonna bitch. Anyways, that ends up this. That wraps up this video. Shout out to Tyler. Shout out to Gina for bringing me through that experience. Definitely be doing it again. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Gonna devour the Chipotle because I'm actually very hungry right now. Um, if you haven't already, like like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Also, don't forget, Raw Gear, January 20th, new banging uh, collection. This is what is part of the collection, is dropping. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.